And so I've got Kaya, and she's a British short hair. She's been with me, I think it's her third holiday, possibly more, I've lost track. And then we have Anushka, she's a Russian blue, beautiful green eyes. Her owner told me she doesn't like children at all. Elvis, lovely Elvis, he doesn't quite live up to his name. <laughs> yeah, he may have done in his, in his youth, but he's, he's 10 now. Yeah, but he's, he's gorgeous. Two brothers, Flash and Buddy. The owner did tell me that Buddy um, can be quite sort of shy and timid to begin with. He likes to hide, he likes to find little spaces where he can kind of tuck away. Flash is more playful, more confident, um, and loves his food. And I think given the chance, he will pinch Buddy's food <laughs> as well. I grew up with pets, so I had cats, dogs, budgies, hermit crabs, um, fish, <laughs> and also did a lot of babysitting from like a teenager. So children and pets were my two things. Um, did think about sort of being a veterinary nurse, but after losing so many of my lovely, lovely pets and being so emotional, I didn't think I could cope with that part of the job of seeing them come in and then maybe not making it back home after. So I kind of went down the children route and um, stuck with it for many, many years, but always knew in my heart that one day I'd do something different. And about 10 years ago, on my travels to Highgate to work, I'd pass a cattery and that kind of sowed the seed really. There wasn't one morning when I woke up and thought, I can't do this. And that was the difference with my school work. I just wanted to be out there with my guest. And 11 o'clock at night, I was still out there with my husband saying, come in, they're cats. You can... <laughs> they're okay, you can leave them. And I think that's what people kind of do really like about it. It's very personal. And I've heard from many, many people that have been to see me that they've been to see a few places and they are literally cages stacked one above the other. And that's not what they're getting, they're getting luxury. You can tell they're happy because it's like they're smiling, their face lights up, their eyes are wide open, their ears are up, their tails wag. I feel you naturally warm to the ones that um, come to you and want your attention. But they're all lovely, I love them all. I call myself their auntie, not their real mummy. <laughs> I say, your real mummy's at home. This is Auntie Loria and um, just someone that will love them as much as they're loved at home. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.